Hey, this is Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com, and I've got my sons Michael and Daniel, and they're going to show help me show you how to use the grid lines on your iOS 7 camera to achieve the rule of thirds look. All right, so first of all, what is the rule of thirds? As you can see, we're using my iPad Mini. My son's holding it in order for you to be able to somewhat see uh, what he's seeing on the screen. You can do this on your iPhone though, as well. The rule of thirds shows two lines horizontally and two lines vertically. Photographers imagine that these lines are there, but the line would be about one third down from the top and about one third up from the bottom, and then about one third in from the right side and one third in from the left side. So you'd have a grid of nine boxes, four lines, and four intersecting points. The rule of thirds says that when you take shots and pictures and video, you want your subjects on one of those intersections or on one of those lines. For example, as you can see in this shot, my son is showing that basket up there and it's on one of those intersecting points. Our, my other son is holding the basket, you can barely see that in the video here, but it's on that, he's standing on that other line. And so he's on one line while the basket's on the intersecting point. He's on this rule of uh, this third, and it's on that third to give it a balanced look. Now, if he wanted to, my son could just focus up here with the basket in the center, and that sort of, while it puts it right in the middle, it just doesn't look as interesting in this case. So it's actually better to focus that. So that's what the rule of thirds means. Now I want to show you how you can turn on the grid lines in iOS 7 on both the iPad and the iPhone using your settings. Alright, so my son is going to open up the settings on this iPad. It pops up. He's going to go to uh, scroll down on the, right side, the left side there until he finds photos and camera. And once he finds photos and camera, he's going to scroll down until he sees grid. Tap that. Now notice, don't slide it, just tap it. A lot of people want to tap these or slide these. But when you do that, it turns on the grid. So now he's going to go to the home button there, open it, hit the camera. All right, so now my, son, my other son Daniel is over there with the basket. And imagine he's taking this shot. And my son Michael wants to get it on the grid line. So you can barely make it out on screen, but he's right in the center of that grid line. Here's some rules for using grid lines. One is you want to put that right on the horizon. So let's say he's taking a picture of the graveyard over in the distance. One of the horizons between, say, the parking lot and the grass, he'd put it maybe on the bottom third line. Or if he was taking a picture over in the distance, he'd see you know, that road that's over there, he'd put that maybe on the top line. So lines in a scene should go on one of the lines. For example, let's say he's taking a picture of our church and notice the steeple there, he's going to put that steeple, go up and take the picture of the whole steeple, he's going to put that steeple on that rightmost line in order to make it more balanced. Now for people, you want them, and I'm going to do this with my son, I've got his eyes, you can't see the lines, but imagine that they're there, I'm focusing on his lines, uh, uh, focusing on his eyes with the leftmost, left upper grid line intersection. If I wanted to show more of what's over here, I'd put him on that intersection. And if for some reason something was more interesting above him, maybe I would put him on the bottom ones. Like that. But anyway, this has been Kevin Purcell with my son Michael and Daniel. And we're with GottaBeMobile.com. Thanks for watching.